Okay, being ready, Leadership. right there. Well, you know, Speaker McConnell has said repeatedly it's between the President and McCarthy. McCarthy takes default off the table, problem solved. Leader, yes. Leader. Yeah, this guy. Um, how do you feel about Tucker Carlson, former Fox host, launching his show now on Elon Musk's Twitter? I'm not going to comment on that. Everyone has, everyone has a right to make their views known where they can. Yes, way back there. Well, I was calling – okay, both of you. Go ahead. Two tall guys. <laughs> Yes. Well, as you, as you know, I care passionately about this. I'm the author of both the Brady Law and the Assault Weapons Ban, and our caucus is having a meeting devoted exclusively to talking about the next best step forward on guns. I was very happy last uh, summer that we were able to move forward for the first time in 30 years on guns, and maybe we can do that again. I'd like to see that. Yes. Look, the bottom line is very, very simple. McConnell has said it should be between McCarthy and, Mc and uh, the President. There's only one person standing in the way of avoiding default, and that's Speaker McCarthy. He ought to back off plain and simple. Yes. Well, would you be willing to accept real spending cuts, actual spending cuts that would move alongside a separate track look, than a debt ceiling increase? Look, the bottom line is we've always debated spending cuts revenue increases, uh, as Chris pointed out, in the budget and appropriations process. That's going along now. But again, default should not be — we should not be using default as a hostage. Only McCarthy is. It's dangerous. It's reckless. It could lead to real problems. Thank you.